Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. It's the motherfucking kid. I mean, Punchline Kid, Notorious KID. You know, y'all know me on Gully TV. You know what I'm saying? You already know what we do, though, man. What's going on? Who you got with you? What's up, my nigga? It's uh, your first time out. One Punch Car, CEO on the go. CEO of Punchline Brand, Simon One Punch Car. And we in here, you know, we're making it happen. Give us a little background on yourself. Why, um, why you chose, you know, the Punchline brand or whatever to promote, like. Well, Punchline was uh, formed from, you know what I mean, my uh, my experience, you know what I'm saying? Former boxer, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, celebrity star, and pretty much. Been doing this for a while, you know what I'm saying? And uh, matter of fact, um, several songs, people always, Reference me like in uh, Cannon, you know, um, Freeway and, and, and Lil Wayne reference me in these songs. Uh, I roll over his squad like I'm one punch car. That was me. You okay. know what I'm saying? Notorious KID. Yeah. And Notorious KID was a, a, a project that I pretty much picked. We was talking about a lot of different things. Um, we had already did. Um, you know, we was on a school tour, we was doing some different things. And I really wanted him to be introduced in a universal way. Right. So we kind of picked Biggie, you know what I'm saying? And him being young, that's from a whole different generation. It wasn't really with the, you know, the, the swag rap and all that. You know, it was smooth grooves and old melodies. So right. I told him, like, come on, you know, let's jump on this and really show your versatility that you can really, you know what I mean, get down and do what you you do. And that, that'll that give the older generation a chance to really catch up to you. And the younger generation, you keeping, you know what I mean, the gap, you know what I mean, to bridge the gap from the younger generation to the old. Because, like I said, you know, big, you know, on March 9th, he died on, you know, on March 9th, it was 18 years. So him being young, that made him only like, three or, or five at right. the time. So, like, he didn't really know him, you know what I'm saying? But I come from that era, so it was like, okay, he was five outside of the, you know, the commercial tracks. They basically don't know him. There's a lot of these young cats and these rappers don't know who the real B.I.G. Right. was. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what his music symbolized in terms of the hardcore and the universal and that. Um, the street saying they fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be on gullytv.com. So y'all gonna be fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? You get them straight from me. You know what I'm saying? KID on Gully TV. You got any features on it? Uh, I got one feature on it. It's Nathia. Shout out to Nathia. She was, you know what I'm saying? That's cause um, I mean, we put it together, she on the hooks, but other than that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I ain't feel like I needed to feature nobody on that drone. It was just me, you know what I'm saying, giving them me, like, it's a project I dropped on, you know what I'm saying, I picked the day, you know what I'm saying, like, all right, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drop on March 9th, and you know what I'm saying, we just going to go in. So you did actually get it out on his birthday? March 9th, yeah, like, you know, uh, like. His birthday actually uh, May 21st. Yeah. Oh, he March died on March 9th. Yeah. He died on March 9th. Okay. So, I mean, like, the one of the, but that's one of the biggest days in hip-hop. No doubt. That, that hip-hop remembers. So, I mean, there was a lot of critics out there saying, why would y'all even try to even attempt to do a project like that? And we, you know what I mean, we scored. I mean, there was a lot of support. And, of course,